Hey, earlier today I posted a video on my other YouTube channel where I spoke about breaking the mold of the older or weaker version of yourself in order to allow the stronger version of you to emerge, right? And all the resistance associated with that. And I used a metaphor with regard to uh, imagining that you were a statue made of you know, plaster or whatever statues are made of, and a new version of you needs to break out of that and how uncomfortable that, that might be physically and mentally, and that that's where most people drop the ball in their in their evolution towards what they would believe is a stronger version of themselves. One of the things that I wanted to say in that video that I didn't was that becoming a stronger version of yourself isn't so much about what you do. You know, we like to think that like a stronger version of me will be doing this or I need to do that in order to be a stronger version of myself. Really, what you'll end up finding is that a stronger version of yourself requires that you give things up. The hardest part about becoming the strongest version of yourself is giving up lower forms of yourself or weaker forms of yourself, whatever that is to you, right? I'm, I'm not here to judge what's stronger and what's, what's weaker. And what that means is there's going to be a challenge to your ideologies. And ideologies come in very, in many, many, many different forms, philosophies, religions, things of that nature that you have to question, that you've got to ask yourself these questions. And the the biggest ideology that needs to be challenged that you need to ask yourself, you need to challenge and ask yourself whether uh, you're willing to give it up or not, is the idea of who you think you are. You say who you think you are is a manifestation of the experiences that you've had, the things that you've been told, the conditioning that you receive as a child, and the environment and how, they, how the people in your environment respond to you, what they expect of you. So when you challenge Bob or Dave or Dan or Susie or whatever it is that your is associated with your name, it's almost like your your actual personhood is crumbling, right? The ego structure that you've developed over the past thirty years, how old you are, is being challenged and, and, and has to break down in many regards. And we become very attached. Everyone else becomes very attached to that version of you. And it ends up being less of a struggle to do more things to become a stronger version of yourself and more a challenge to give up things that you believe are an integral part of who you are especially when those things are unresourceful to your growth Elliot said Elliot what, said. Elliot what? Elliot.